Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I discuss about basic elements of digital signal. So, most of the signal encountered in science and engineering are analog in nature. That is, the signal are functions of a continuous variable such as time or space and usually take on values in a continuous range. We know that simply, but such signal may be proceed directly by appropriate analog signals or analog system such as filters, frequency analyzer or frequency multiplier. But for this purpose of changing their characteristics or extracting some desired information, in such a case we say that the signal has been proceed directly in its analog form like that analog input signal and here the proceed of analog signal processor and next the output is analog output signal okay that's type of signal and next is the here the diagram for digital signal processing okay this diagram so here digital signal processing provides an alternative method for processing the analog signal like that so i discuss about this uh, diagram okay to perform the processing digitally there is a need for an interface between the analog signal and the signal processor the interface is called analog to digital converter here i input the signal like analog next the its convert in analog ad means analog to digital converter the output of the analog uh, to digital converter is a digital signal that is appropriate as an input to the digital processor okay next is after that it's a digital signal because we convert it analog to digital okay then here the input it as digital signal processor okay after that we get digital output signal okay and when i get digital output signal it's convert into digital to analog converter and after that it again output analog output signal okay the in that case the digital signal processor may be a large programmable digital out computer or a small microprocessor program to perform the desired operation on the input signal. It may also be a hardware digital processor like that or configured to perform a specified set of operation on the output signal or input signal. So programmable machine provide the flexibility to sense the signal processing. Operation through a sense in the software. Whereas, Hardware machines are difficultly to recognize and consequently programmable signal process are in very common use and such as interface is called a digital to analog converter like that digital to analog converter. Thus the signal is provided to the user in analog form as in the block diagram. Okay. So, however, there are other practical applications involving signal analysis where the desired information is conveyed in digital form to analog converter is required. For example, the digital processing or radar signal, the information extracted from the radar signal such as the position of the aircraft and its speed may simply be printed on paper there is no need for a digital to analog converter in the in this case okay so that's are the basic elements of digital signal we di i discuss about the analog signal and also digital signal diagram so thank you everyone and subscribe my channel see you in next